Welcome to week two of our virtual summer camp. My name is Mary Ann Wright and I'm a 4-H area educator with Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. This week is all about agriculture and nature. If you have registered for our program, you should have received your packet for the week. And this includes lots of different activities and worksheets that focus on agriculture and nature. This also includes two of our grab and go activities, and we are going to be demonstrating the first one of those today. If you have not registered and you don't have a packet, don't worry. You can get our grab and go sheets on our Facebook page at Pemiscot County 4-H if you wanna go and reference back to that. Also, if you have your packet, you should have received your bag of supplies for this week's activities. And for today's, all you're going to need are the two straws that are included in your bag. So go ahead and get those out. If you don't have a bag, you will need a couple of drinking straws. And we are using two different sizes of drinking straws, but if you only have one size, that's fine. This will work just fine with just one straw. So I have a straw here. And then the only other thing we're gonna need is a pair of scissors. So go ahead and grab some scissors and your drinking straw. Now, if you do have your pack, you're gonna to look towards the very back and you should find the two grab and go activities for this week. And the one we're going to do today is called Simple Duck Call. So if we look at our guide sheet here, we see here on this column our supply list. And so it says included in our kit, we have our drinking straws. And then we're going to need a pair of scissors and some lung power. So don't worry, you have that right here, so you don't need anything else. Now, if we read at the top, it says that this activity uses a simple straw to demonstrate how vibrations can make sound. And the sound that we are going to make sounds very similar to a duck. So that's why we're calling it a simple duck call here. Now, if we look at step one, it says that we take our straw, and we're just gonna pinch it together and flatten it a bit where we're gonna make our cut. So if you have a straw like mine, you see that it's a bendy straw and we don't want to use this part that bends for our duck call. So I'm going to cut right below where my straw bends. So what I'm gonna do is take my pair of scissors and I want to make a point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from one side, and this is where it helps to flatten a bit so you can make that cut really good. Now be careful if you're using scissors. And I'm just gonna go up. So I've made one cut on this side, and now I'm gonna flip it to the other side and make that same cut so it meets in the middle and creates a point. So see that I have both sides making a point here. And really, this is all that we need to do to make our duck call. And now we're going to see if it works. Now, I'm going to play this, place this in my mouth, and I'm actually going to put this pointed in in my mouth. But I don't want to put my lips right here on the points because, again, we're seeing that the vibrations are going to make that noise. So we want both of these pointed ends to vibrate. So make sure that your mouth is in a little bit when you blow so that way you can make some sound. So let's test out and see if it works. <laughs> so it does, it makes a pretty neat sound. One thing that you can do when you have your straws and the reason why we included different sizes of straws in your pack is that you can experiment and see how the um, diameter of the straw affects the sound and also you can play around with the length of the straw. So earlier I cut off the top part of my straw before I got to the bendy part. So I'm going to go ahead and make another call out of the shorter side and you can see if that makes any type of different sound here. So go ahead and cut that and so you have a point and then you'll have a small duck call. So we'll see if 
this also makes a sound. So before we blow into this, do you have any guesses on how the sound will be affected by the length? Do you think it will sound the same? Do you think it will be a lower sound or a higher sound? If you have those guesses, you can use the back of your grab and go activity sheet to answer some questions, write down your observations, and see what you think was gonna happen. So let's go ahead and try this very small one and see if it makes a sound. So it did, it still worked really well but it definitely sounded different than our longer one. So let's do it one more time. I'm gonna blow my short one, and then I'm gonna blow my long one. See what you think. <laughs> so they do make different sounds. So this is really fun. And again, it's super simple because all you need is a straw and a pair of scissors to experiment. I hope that you complete this activity and that you join us back on Thursday as we do our second grab and go activity for this week. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.